Okay, I think Annabelle ligaments are gone. Completely. I'm gonna feed her and I'm gonna wait until she calms down a little bit more and I can check her in different positions. Like this would be the perfect position. You know, looking up. But she's looking down, looking for food. So I'm pretty sure today's the day. I, I check a couple of times, uh, around midnight and three something, four in the morning. And the lights have been working great for checking the girls at night. Just in case you were wondering how they look like. And right now, because there's light outside, you can't really tell how much light they put out. But this, it's perfectly lit. Although, uh, maybe to see things up close, you know, I'm still gonna bring a flashlight just in case, but there's plenty of light here. It's a pretty chilly morning. It's been starting that way for a few days and then it gets hot. So it might get hot soon, but... Now I closed this stall behind me since yesterday because her ligaments were getting softer and softer. But right now, she I'm pretty sure she's confused with what's going on, so she's being pretty scared of everything. Like, she'll look at me and then want some pets, and then all of a sudden she looks at me like, Oh, what am I doing here? Mm, beautiful boy. You got out, puppy. Where do you think you were going? You were waiting for the girls to follow you? Well, they're not your biggest fans. Is it? Are you ready? You ready to have those babies? I think so. Look at her right side. Almost like no belly. I think I'm gonna put you in a kidding bin, okay? With lots of hay, so you can eat by yourself. You don't have to fight. Okay? And I'll bring you some treats. You want some grain? Hmm? Do you want some? Does it feel weird? I get it. I get it. I am a mama too. I can't find them, see? They were right here, and now I feel like a... Like a ghoul, almost gone. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe gum? So maybe they will loosen up even more. But I think today we're on baby watch. I think she's worried about the other goats. And I don't think she's as worried about me, but she was acting kind of scared. But I think it's more about being with the rest. So I think you're ready to go to the kidding pen. I'll keep you company. You want that? You want company? Okay. Come on. Let's go. Come on, honey. Come on, sweet girl. Come on, honey. Come on.
I know. I am coming. Hi, Mama. Hi. I'm coming to hang out with you, okay? You're not going to be alone. I just had to do a few things. So I got in, and she's a little chatty. But Clara is right outside. So they've been kind of talking through the door. And I might be jumping the gun by putting her here, but I really don't know what to expect and I don't want her to be having babies outside. I just feel better if she's here. She is a little nervous, but she'll calm down after a while. And she realizes that, you know, it's okay, she's here, she has food, she has everything she needs. So I noticed that her ligaments were gone at around 6.30 this morning. And it's about 8.45. She finally is feeling a little bit better. Like, Clara is talking to her and she's not talking back and she's eating. She's been stepping on the hole of the hay feeder and looking outside to kind of see what's going on. Everyone else is eating breakfast, but Clara, she's not very attached to Annabelle, per se. Annabelle is pretty independent and bossy, and Clara is kind of devoted to her new adopted kid, Duke. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, it's not 8.45, it's 8.30 right now. I'm keeping an eye out and eating at the same time. Again, she's always multitasking. It's okay. It's just the dogs being silly. You're okay. You know, you're super heavy. Ow! You're gonna hurt me. And look at this. She wants to be on top of me. In whatever way she can. Either <laughs> putting her belly against my legs. Rider. This other full and you for babies. You know your your belly is kind of heavy. Do you know that? You kind of um putting all the weight on me, young lady. She either wants to hide behind me. And wants me to pet her belly. Or she kind of leans on me. I only can think that she's in pain, that things are starting to happen, and that she's feeling that way. See? She kind of hides behind me. Her belly is super tight. I don't know if you remember that I was showing you how, you know, you could feel the water inside. Now it's super, super tight. And her roommate is making all kinds of noises. And I'm afraid he's gonna end up pooping inside the water bucket. But we can always change it. Okay, I'll keep petting you. And again, kind of sitting her belly on me. I have all my books here that I've been reading. So this is what I was telling you about, that 
on video sometimes you only see a bubble but three bubbles can come out at the same time and that doesn't mean they're three different kids it can mean that but also it's it's kind of tricky to tell the difference and let me show you a normal birth so look at that so more than one bubble and then you can see in one of them the kid and then here she's breaking the membrane okay we'll see this is first down that this is the first time that she goes down and of course I brought this, which is my gardening thing to sit. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can use it, but you can't eat it, okay? And she decided to kick me to the other corner of the kidding pen. And now she's going to sit there. Well, again, as I said, you're welcome to use it and lay on it if you feel like it. But you cannot eat it, okay, mommy? Okay. Okay. I think she's pretty relaxed. I mean, she's been chewing the cud and you know, demanding pets. I don't I don't think she's stressed out anymore. She was a little bit at first when Clara was here screaming at her. Uh, but I think she's finally ready to settle down. I think she's starting to have contractions. Right now, I think she's going through one. Now she relaxed. While well, I read different presentations of kids. Let's see, there were other pictures. Like normal birth, two kids trying to come out at the same time. This one that has one of the legs back. This other one, but first, um, but with the legs down which is breach and it's it's I've seen plenty of birds that the legs go first um, the back legs and it's kind of the same as normal I don't know but this one uh, yeah then the head turned back or the one with just one leg up or hoof up and the other down upside down with one leg back and there's this other boat too I've been going through them. it's kind of an older book and it shows kind of the signs hollow at hip and flank noisy restless discharge tied out or that should give you the the, the first uh, an idea that they're in the first part, uh, which is the cervix dilating. Okay, just going through it again. <clears throat> and through pictures, they kind of show you, you know, the bubble, then as it slips out. Of course, you were gonna poop on top of my thing. Of course, just to make it a little bit more yucky. I'm gonna have to move you to clean that up, you know. She's going up and down, up and down, and she's focusing a little bit more. It's like she can't make up her mind.
Don't get me wrong, she still wants love, but she's kind of dealing with her pain, I assume. I think she's having a contraction right now, or not anymore. Her tail was curled and she was kind of stomping her right hoof. And she's chewing the cud, but then when something hurts, she kind of stops and stares. But again, I'm just assuming for what I've been seeing since she lost her ligaments this morning at 6.30. see what happens. Some books say that after they lose their ligaments it could be 12 hours and some other ones say 24. So I am hoping for the first option although I wish she wouldn't have her babies tonight and me having to stay here all day guessing if everything is going right. It is 12.45 right now. I left her for about an hour with my daughter and she said that she's been mostly up and down, up and down. As far I think things are progressing just a little but still waiting on babies. And Mocha is being moral support for her sister. There we go. And right now it's 2.39 in the afternoon. And she's still progressing. She's having contractions every five minutes or so. She lays down, but then when she gets a contraction, she gets up, she kind of focuses, stares, and then when the contraction goes away, which I'm hoping she does right now, she lay down. But, let's see if she does. Yeah. So her last contraction was at. I'm writing them down here. 2:37. She's going through another contraction right now. But she's so exhausted that she's staying laying down. Let's see if I can catch her getting the beginning of the contraction. She's so exhausted. I'm sure she had a pretty bad night last night. But she falls asleep in between contractions. As you can see, she was falling asleep with me petting her. And she was kind of laying on my hand to rest. So she kicked her leg out. And she seemed to be slightly pushing. I swear those flies are annoying me. Push both legs out. And I'm not sure she's about to start pushing or if she's just trying to rest. Another contraction. Look at her tail. How she breathes. She's kind of trying to push. I don't think there is anything. But I'm gonna check. Oh, 
minus 322 in the afternoon. Now I think we're in serious labor. She's very focused and breathing hard. We'll see. Okay. Now I think we're in business. There's a little bit of discharge. And she seems very uncomfortable, so I think we're gonna have babies pretty soon. Or at least in the next two hours. According to what I read. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's not all the way out. But yeah. Finally. I think her water broke. Okay, 347. And I think she's starting to push. I know. I know, you got it. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. 
Hey. Oh, Look. Wow. Look, you have a baby. <clears throat> okay, too much blood for my taste, but okay. Look, that's your baby. Say hi to your baby. Hi, baby. Oh, look, it's your baby. Oh, my goodness. Such a big kid. How did you manage to have such a big kid? Hi, baby. Oh, my gosh, how cute! Yeah, baby. Are you in the shop? I need to let up, Bill. Are you okay? Aren't you the cutest boy? Aren't you the cutest thing? Oh my gosh, you're so cute, Danny. Hi. Oh, look at this big boy. Look at this big boy. Oh my gosh, Annie, look at your boy. Say hi, boy. Ah, mira, se está parando. Good boy. You're strong, huh? Good boy. <coughs> yes, you're a good boy. Hi, cielo. Hi. Ah, you still have something there. Let me clean it. You're a good mama. You're a good mama, sweetie. You're a good mama. You scared me to death with a kid's dog. But he's ginormous. He's ginormous, sweet girl. Oh, baby. You keep drinking. Or you're talking to your boy? Oh, you're such a sweet mama. Hi, little one. Hi, my beautiful boy. Such a cute boy. Such a cute boy. I know. I have all your boy stuff in my hand. He's sucking on something that is not your teeth. Okay, let me show him, okay? Here, it's right here, baby. No, that's not a teeth. That's a teeth. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Come on. Right there. See? There you go. Let me help you. Let me help you, little guy. <clears throat> Let me show you. You kind of have to. You're big and tall. So you probably should be kind of squatting to get there.
Little baby. Oh. What a beautiful girl with a beautiful baby boy. I mean, look, he's happy. Oh, he's a happy boy. Oh, 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 too much milk. Too much milk for a cute boy. You're so sweet. Strap to the open air. Yeah, the country's out is so pretty. With the wind blowing.